So I don't honestly fully understand the rules of Zib Z. As I understand it, everyone has a broom. Some have like, it's like lacrosse, but maybe less violent. But Tink does almost run over a kid, so maybe more violent. I know that you can do a dragon strike, which is basically you throw a broom at your at the other kids and stuff like that. And by doing that, it causes everyone to panic and run around. And if you get tagged by the ball, you're frozen for basically the rest of the game, I think. The key with Zibzy is you don't want to lead with the crown of your helmet. If, uh, if you're approaching the tackler you know, between his chest and the top of his helmet, um, you know, targeting is very important. And uh, with, with you know, the rise of concussions and Zibzy over the years, um, you know, they're cracking down on that. You want a good form tackle? <laughs> Coach him, uh, keep your helmet up, and just follow through. Seven players per team. There's one seeker, three chasers, two beaters, and one keeper. There's one quaffle, two sludgers, and one snitch. And everybody flies around on broomsticks. Zip zap, zigzag, zaxpies, zip, zigzies. So, zipzy is like kind of a combination of baseball and uh, role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons because uh, you're trying to run the bases and uh, but at the same time like what kind of moves you can make are dependent on like what mode of transportation you have. If your transportation is a wagon you're like you're only able to go one base at a time no matter what you roll but you're like defense capabilities are way higher because you're a wagon which means that like uh, someone has to roll like a, a natural 20 to inflict any damage. So Zibzy is a game played by the children of Glipwood in the Wing Feather Saga and what they do is they get a bunch of fruit, they run around town knocking on doors of the villagers and then they all have to throw the fruit at the villagers when they open the door and if they hit them in the face that's like um, I think that's what they call a dragon strike and then um, if one of the villagers actually catches the fruit in their mouth, then you're out. Um, so that's that's how you get out. But um, the person that makes it to the mayor, um, Mayor Blagas, if they hit him in the face and he doesn't catch it in his mouth, that is Zibzy. So Zibzy is a dice game, right? Mostly played by old people. And, uh, and you each have 11 dice and big Yahtzee cup that works. And you shake them out and you try to get them into sequences. And as soon as you get them, you know, one, two, three, four, the dice have like lots of sizes, you get to 11, and then you yell Zipsy. I think that's how it goes. Zips, Zipsy is a complicated game. It requires a ball, a stick, a donkey, and about 10 players. It's like soccer and football and hockey and ballet all at once. It's beautiful. So what you need to do is you need to pass the ball in the air and hit the other person like rugby. Don't hurt them, don't harm them, but if, if they don't maim them, but it, it, there'll be some pain though. <laughs> then you pass, and you, just like in, in field hockey, you pass the ball around. Um, and if you do a 180, 360, plus a 420, then you shoot the goal and you have to get it past the goalie and you score what's called a hopnogger. Now hopnoggers are uh, three points and then a doodle banger is seven points. So 10 points can get you through the first round. There's five rounds. Um, preferably you play this in a pasture. So you watch out for all of the, the horse droppings and the cow droppings. It can be used um, in the game, but it's a foul. So, um, after five rounds, uh, someone scored the most points wins, and uh, see it's pretty easy, and uh, and uh, it's a fun game to play.